the igneous rock? I forgot. Uh, let me check that again. We could probably take another trip out and be okay. Maybe make a few more bricks? Uh, I think the igneous bricks, they're made out here, aren't they? Is it you who makes them? Nope. What about you? Well, if the other one doesn't, then you probably don't either. Uh, what about you? You do make them. Um, do I want 50, though? Yeah, I don't think I want 50. I don't know if it'll matter. Because they stack in just short of 1,000. So, not you, you. So let's do that, and it'll give us an excuse to go back up there again. Alright, so that's going. That's got enough stones. That has enough stones. I want to make sure I have enough stones. Uh, there's enough. There goes Teddy again. Free as a bird. Um, how are you doing? You're good. I'm stuck. How are you? You are good. I have a commerce commission for water storage. I might want to work on that. I just noticed that in the corner. <laughs> it's like, uh, what are you doing? You have a job to do. Keep going. I wish they didn't change every day. Like, I, I wish there would be new ones and stuff, but I wish that you could... Just one. Thank you. You took it out of my inventory? You did. All right. So we're ready for the church. Oh, I might want to get out of the way of that. There's enough time in today. Let's go over and do the Ignis Rock. We can go do that. And, oh, you know what we haven't done? I don't think we have done it yet. Is the, um... Isn't there one up here? I thought there was a chest up here somewhere. But I guess not on top of Sophie's. On top of his? Uh... Nope. Where is... I'm sure there's a chest on here. I might have gotten it already. Oh, and there's supposed to be one inside. Hello, welcome, welcome. And there's one in here. There it is. Yay, what did we get? We got money. All right, money's not bad. Not what I'm looking for, but not bad. Um, Snowball, taking your time. He's in no particular hurry today. Knows where we're going. We went the wrong way. Okay, I can't seem to get on here properly. 
with um, Snowball. So Snowball will have to teleport up to the top. And there he is. And has the cinnamon tree come back? I'm going with no. But these have. And that's what we're here for. There should be enough to... I guess, build up what I've just used and replenish it by a bit. Or I could be completely wrong and we have to come back here a few times. I do not know. I do know, though, that my dear horse is in the way and these trees are in the way. But you'll see what these trees drop. They're horrible. Like, hardwood and ironwood. Well, that's wonderful, but no resin, no sap, no nothing like that. Like, none of the stuff you really need. They're kind of unhappy trees. So I'm not a fan of them. All right, back we go this way. Not sure what I'm gonna do with myself once I have like everything collected. Until somebody comes up with the missions, and I have been scouring the internet for anything to give me an idea. I do know the name of one of the quests that I'm missing. I don't know how to trigger it. So I'm gonna have to start interacting more with Higgins, but that's it. I am gonna start learning how to do the wiki pages and make a point of getting them up to date. Because it is unbelievably annoying to not have an up-to-date wiki. The wiki should have been updated, like, immediately. As soon as people saw stuff, they should have been writing comments at the bottom or discussion things. And the people who maintain the wiki should have automatically added that stuff. Or at least verified it and then done what they were going to do. Um, I am going the wrong, wrong way. Let's go back the right way. It is over here. There we go. Let's do this side first. So yeah. There we go. And that one, and that one. I don't know if I've walked all the way around up here. I would like to check the entrance out for the new one that's supposed to be opening soon. That would be nice. What is that? There are plants up here. Chrysanthemums are up here. When did that happen? They weren't here before. Yay! That makes me happy. Because you could only get those in the desert. They have no actual purpose. But it's kind of nice to have them. go. Why is it as women we think of stuff like that? Men? No. They're like, yeah, whatever sheets are here are here. That's good enough. It's like, no. I don't care if they're actually clean and everything. There's a possibility a speck of dust may have fallen onto those sheets. Therefore, we must wash them again. 
Why do that? I am a wash and rewash and wash again type person. Mum was really... Well, mum and dad actually think I'm a little weird. I only use a face cloth once. I'm like, once you've used it, I'm, I'm not willing to use it again. You have just scrubbed off all the really nasty things on your skin into that cloth. There is no way, short of a washing machine, that it's going to get any better or cleaner. So, yeah. You want me to get rest, but I have poop. I have to collect poop. And having visitors over is always exciting. Are you going to make any special food? That was always my favorite part of going and visiting people, was the eating. <laughs> I think we can make it back home in time. Hey, Mr. Ack. Uh-oh, we're stuck. Alright, you get back into the barn, and I will pass out at the front door. There we go. Yeah, it gets it gets damp and, and kind of musty. So you kind of have to make it fresh and inviting, which is awesome. It's the best part. And you can tell when you go to visit somebody's house when they haven't done it. So you kind of feel obligated to do it as well. You want them to have the best experience possible. This is what I need. I need the linen. I need to make that. Feathers. Um, I can see through here. There we go. Those go. There we go. Probably gonna have barbecue one day. Thanks to Celtic. Confused on that one. Barbecue is awesome. Not sure how the two of them relate though. Oh, my numbers are gonna be off because I picked up stuff with the poop. Oh well. Well, the fourth is next week. Oh. Yeah. I forget about little things like that. <gasps> what is today? Today's the 18th. Tomorrow is the day of the bright sun. Yay! Oh, and these have no apricots on them. So we might want to do that too. And it looks like my lettuce might be done. Because he is stuck in the kitchen again. We might have to do a whole revamp of the kitchen idea because he's getting stuck. Now, I don't know if it matters or not. Um, oh, nice. Oh, you gave her the idea of the barbecue because barbecue is awesome. Barbecue makes the world go round. I miss barbecue. I would like to see if there is some way we can barbecue in Atlanta. If not, there is a barbecue place that I have added to our list of places we're going to. Tackback doesn't know. Don't tell him. <laughs> like, really, I don't think he knows. 
Although he could be listening, so maybe he does now. I like watching a TV show called Atlanta Eats, and it's all about restaurants in Atlanta and in the Atlanta area. So the greater Atlanta area. And one of them is this place called the Williams Brothers, and it has some of the best barbecue around. So we watched that together, the episode together, and I was like, I gotta go there. And he went somewhere that had really good barbecue, and I'm like, well, now I'm left out. I want to get like a little barbecue hibachi grill thing that you can have in the backyard that is okay. Like it, it doesn't break the rules and stuff. Like we're not allowed any propane at all in the property. We're not allowed, we're not allowed like anything. I'm going to gift you this and Toadie's out of here. So he's not going to get any. Oaks has just arrived. And... Um... Yeah, I just completely blanked on what I was doing there. He's my friend! Oh, I don't have the water storage. Let's go get it. Well, first, let's give Nora something. Does Nora like anything else? Just the lemonade. This is going to take us a long time with her. Like a really long time. All right, horse, let's go and get our commerce commission that we completely forgot that we were doing. Um, and all the lettuce he just picked up. Let's go back outside and go get the lettuce he picked up. Yep, it's all lettuce. And he is still having a lot of difficulties there. I don't think I can help him. I don't think I can help at all. Here's this when they come over to stepmom. They literally only visit every other holiday? That's not cool. Totally not cool. And stepmoms are just as valid as being mom. My cousin, she has zero interest in becoming an actual mom. She is married to a wonderful man who has two children by his, two, possibly three children by his previous marriage. And she is an awesome stepmom. And it's it's awesome to do that. You get to give them back. I mean, if they don't have custody type of stuff. And depending on how old they are. Okay, he keeps putting them one at a time, and I'm not interested in doing them one at a time. What I am interested in is actually picking up the Commerce Commission. <sighs> I always said that I wouldn't, I don't want to have children, like never, but I would have no issues whatsoever being a foster mom or a stepmom, anything like that. The idea of actually being pregnant, not happening. Sorry guys, I need to go trust him down. You get an umbrella. Yay, I'm glad you like it. I am not chasing your pig down without a horse. Because I know where it's going, and I have to come up here anyways. Because I need to go see her. But first, you can have your apple. Oh, and she's sitting. All right, um... Hi. My dad tells corny dad jokes all the time. Only I think they're funny, though. Yeah, I know. Go on a walk with you. Blah, 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 blah.
That would be tough. Be closer to there than his. One thing people are not very aware of is there is a very... I won't say very, but there is a... a okay, there is a large gap between Tackback and I's age. Me being senior. To him. Look at all the balloons. And... It doesn't seem to matter. All right, purple. What would you like? You want smash sack. You want smashels. Um. Oh, I can't do this until I hand this in, and I like that one because I saw big money. Hi. Uh, did I not pick it up? I didn't. Did I not pick up the commission? I don't think I actually accepted the commission. Anne? Okay. Who am I turning this into? Who wants my commission? Sandrock wants it. All right. It's water storage. Oh, no. I built the wrong thing. No, 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 no. I built a water tower. We need water storage. Then we need a steel beam. All right. Can you build me really quick water storage? Because... I got that wrong. Steel beam. I think we can do that pretty quick. Water storage. Obviously, the other way. Water storage. Build. One. Alright. In the meanwhile, if we need a water tower, we got one. To make the steel beam, which is what we're going to take next, we're going to need more of these steel frames. So I'm going to make, say, another ten. And... Um, put them away, I guess. That should be enough. Um, sixteen years. Um, the problem is if I tell you that it's going to give away my age. And I don't want to <laughs> give away my age. It takes away some of the mystery. Um, what I can do while that is building is, um, I can do whispers. I just got to figure out how to do it. I think this is you, right here. Yep, there we go. There. I just messaged it to you while we're waiting for this to do its thing. Almost to the day. Weirdly enough. 
Our birth dates are actually six days apart. Plus all those years. He's really never going to get these, so I am going to pick them up myself because I really can't wait on him. <laughs> so yeah. My therapist doesn't like it. She is not a fan. So I'm not a fan of hers. <laughs> Pretty much that's how that worked out. So I'm now looking for a new therapist. One who um, is more supportive of my choices because it's my choice. And if I'm happy, that's really all that should matter. And that doesn't seem to be good enough for her. So my theory is, bite me, lady. <laughs> yep. She should support me, and she should be there to help resolve anything if there are any issues. Um because those are my issues. They're not our issues. They are mine. And yeah, no, she doesn't. She doesn't like the age gap between us. She doesn't support that in any way. She doesn't think any age gap is supportive. And I pointed out to her that the age gap between my parents um, is not exactly that small either. And they've been married, what, over 45 years? So I'm like, yeah, I'm guessing your whole not liking this age gap thing is really not an issue. Mum also being the senior in that partnership. Yes, I am a fast, efficient builder, but I really want this commission before you take it away. This one, accept. Yep, it's a number. That's about all. I mean, the mentality behind it is not that important. I grew up very much in a little bubble and never had any real reason to mature or do any of that stuff. And, and as a result, I never really grew up. So for me, I'm not my actual, you know, chronological age. And that's what matters to me. I'm incredibly immature for my age. <laughs> I look at my friends and I'm like, wow, am I so far behind? <laughs> I don't do any of the stuff they do. I don't have the responsibilities that they do. I don't have the maturity that they do, which makes it great for the job I do. Like, they're they're not gamers. They're they don't do this type of stuff. They would be so horrible at it. They would be really bad. Um I do have, I have a psychiatrist and I do have a therapist. Um, my psychiatrist throws pills at me, but I also need the pills. So I am happy for the pills because the ones I had before were very much a don't throw pills at it and I needed the pills and that was not cool with me. Oh, I didn't get to pet the little ones. Oh, I can pet you. There you go. I missed the other one. He got away. I forgot I have to pet them every day. Hi, guys. Go to bed. Go on now. There you go. Are you going to bed? You're slowly turning around. So, yeah. I do have meds. And then I have the therapist who is there for the talking portion. That is lovely and all. But, yeah. I don't particularly like her. I don't intend on going back either. I need to find someone else. But I'm going to wait until like September to do that. 
that's the project we're actually doing at my church that I am part of. I brought that up to my minister and said, you know what? The church is not particularly supportive of different mental health issues. And we need to change that. And she said, great, let's do that. And I'm like, eh, yeah. <laughs> So we are having um, our church is actually attached to a senior center. And so... Yep, it just, it depends. It depends on the pills, it depends on the dosage, it depends on a lot of things. The ones I'm on right now are not doing it quite as well as I would like. Um, tack back and vouch for that one. <laughs> there are times in which it's just like, nope, definitely need something different. So we're going to go back to making me a guinea pig after my vacation. It could just be stress. And because that will also affect your medication, like a lot of stuff will affect how your medication works and stuff. So mine, though, I'm pretty OK with the ones I have. I'm pretty OK with what it is. My problem is more of a dosage issue. We've been bouncing it up and bouncing it down and checking my blood work and everything to see how I'm doing with it. But um, I just got another set of pills. I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. And um, with that, it there, there's another medication that goes with that. And we think that it might be interacting with my other medication. And that is going to throw it off. Plus, I switched from going from a birth control patch to a birth control shot. And the shot is once every three months rather than having a patch on once a week. So my poor body doesn't know if it's coming or going. And there's all these different hormone things that are going on. <laughs> and there's just, it just doesn't know what's happening to it. So I think that my other stuff is just not able to keep up with me with all the other things happening in it. And so I'm thinking once I am, because the ones for my polycystic are, um, they're still ramping up. They won't actually be at full dosage until the day after I fly to Barbados. Then I will actually be on the full dosage for that. So I don't know how that's going to go. That's going to be weird. You've been on just about everything. Yeah, it depends. Um, with bipolar, there's there, they don't know a lot with it. They really don't. And... With each person, it's unique. So the medication you're on for it really does depend on the person. Um, therapy, therapy to me is a must, a hundred percent must. Medication is, I mean, with bipolar, it is a chemical imbalance. So it's just a case of what chemical and in how much of a dosage of the chemical is it off, and can you deal with it. Like, I know for my anxiety and stuff like that, um, I dealt with it for most of my life. I had, you know, all of those lovely little, oh, you can handle it type of thing. You just need to whatever. And all the little, you know, hokey, bokey things and, you know, mindfulness. And uh, if I hear mindfulness stuff, I just cringe now. But all of those types of things. And I did all of those things. I did the mindful meditation. I tried yoga. Got to tell you, I'm really bad at yoga. Um, tried the exercising. Tried being in the outdoor. Tried getting more sun. Tried all the different things that they tell you to do. And I went through all of those. Um, Tackback actually was asking me about it the other day. I hadn't even realized he'd heard me say it. Um, I have a mantra that I actually do. <laughs> And I do it with breathing exercises and it's required that I do it out loud. And I didn't know he could hear me. <laughs> so I was doing that. And I was, it was, it was funny for me to hear him ask me if it worked. And it's like, yeah, it, it calms me. It's probably the only thing I have left out of all of my therapies and all of my stuff that helped. But eventually all of that didn't work anymore. I actually had a really, really bad day that I was just done. I couldn't do anymore. And I had to be done. 
Like, I just, I knew all of the therapies and stuff that I was doing wasn't good enough anymore. And that's what got, sent me off to a psychiatrist and because a therapist can't give you medication and I got put on meds. And it was like night and day for me. I could not believe that I had not gone on medication sooner. Now, again, in Canada, medication is very different than doing things in the U.S. It is very different. So it's easy for me to get access to the psychiatrist. It's easier for me to get access to different medical help and to get access to um, different therapies and things and to try different meds. I mean, it, it doesn't hurt me to go on a medication for a week, say, okay, this is not working, or to go on it for a month or something like that and say it's not working and try something new. I can get a doctor's appointment every day of the week if I want. Lithium is not my favorite. Um, I did have my psychiatrist suggest I go on lithium, and I said no. <laughs> like, really and truly, no. Yeah. You can't necessarily not trust the medical system due to the fact of one doctor. It's not fair. I know right now that, and I'm probably oversharing, but I know right now that Tackback has a doctor that if I could get my hands around his throat, I would throttle the hell out of him. He is a horrible man. He is a horrible person. He is a horrible doctor. And he runs his business very unprofessionally. Um, I don't even know why he still has a medical license. Like, I really and truly am disgusted by this man. And, I mean, I know Tackback is totally watering down what he's telling me. But if I ever, ever get the chance to meet this man in a dark alley, that'll be it. I will have given up salvation because I hate this man so much. <laughs> and, due to my being the horribly, horribly, horribly not nice person that I can be, um, I have pushed him very hard into finding a new doctor. So, he now has a new doctor, which is awesome. Oh, two hours into the day of the bright sun, and I don't have any more... Oh, I do have a glittery tree. Is that it? Nope. Yep. So, yeah, I am... I'm a huge medical advocate. I believe in making sure that you fight for what you want and that you get what you want. But I also live in a country in which that is promoted. They want you to fight for what you want and to advocate for what you want. It's not the same in the US. Um, medicine is a business. And that is something I am not so good with. I don't understand that when it's people's lives. I, I don't get it. Like, I really don't get it. When people's lives are at risk, that just doesn't make any sense to me. But we didn't always have universal health care here, so that is something to keep in mind. We weren't always this great. Um, this one, and this one, and this one. And then the other are food. And then we get to go punch people in the face to go get gifts. But yeah, I won't touch lithium. Um, I've read up on all the medications that they possibly want to put me on. And I check on the proper dosages. Um, there is a website that I use. I cannot remember what it's called off the top of my head, but it, um, what essentially it does is it checks the interactions between the medications that you're on to say how things are going to happen or what will happen or any of that type of stuff. So I use that before I even take my meds. I mean, I assume my doctor knows what they're doing, but I'd rather get a second opinion. And if I have a question, I will actually contact my doctor and say, Hey, 
Um, are you sure this isn't going to react with this? Because you may have forgotten I was taking this drug as well. And the problem with having a psychiatrist doing drugs and... Well, not doing drugs, but prescribing drugs. And a... Um, happy brightness, everyone. Thank you. And having a general practitioner also doing it. And having an endocrinologist also prescribing me drugs. Um, it tends to get you a lot of different prescriptions all at once. And that could be really bad. Really, really bad. Polly, you are apricots. There. Yay! She's my friend. Uh, Carol, we don't care about... Jack. Okay, we'll go with Martha. Martha is... Nope. Is here. Yay! And... Sanwa, we haven't seen you in a while. You're also the veggie salad. I like this day because things are worth more. Uh, if I can squeeze through and do... Nope. Alright, we'll have to wait until later. Alright, here we go. Uh, not fast enough. Come on. Ah, oh, I pressed the wrong button. No, nope, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to hope something drops by me. Follow that airship. We are. Hey, Dana. We got three last time. We did really well. Mint, you need to get out of the way. This is going to be dangerous. I am not looking up. I fell for that one last time. Not doing it. I know it's coming. There it is. No, nope. all right. Oh, come on. I've never gone through one of these and not gotten a gift. Gotta get the gift. Gotta get the gift. Gotta get the gift. Come on. Really? Oop. Startling. <laughs> I can't even look. Over here. Come on. Do one right over here. Move, Albert! Oh my god, Albert. You're in the way. Oh, we're gonna run out any second now. I'm not following that airship. I want a gift. I'm going to push whoever I have to to get it. Because I'm mean. Oh, are we done already? Oh, no. Oh, here we go. I can't pick that one up. I got it! A yellow sapphire necklace. I got the book. <laughs> that I already have. Wow. That was better than the rock I got last time. But yay, we got one. And then when we go out here, and it's all done. Unless there's a bit more here. I don't know. I don't think so. Yee, -ye, watch out! We're all going to come running through there and you're just this little old lady who's going to get crushed. Uh, looks like there might be more. It's hard to tell. I don't think so. I think we're done. We go out here now. And they don't drop any more out here. Now the fun part comes. How As soon as it ends, then I have to give everybody. Okay. I want to gift you two. And it ends. Come 
no, he took off. Alright, well, I can still... Um... You're already a friend. BFF. Toby's done. Jack. Jack gets lemonade. Lemonade, lemonade, lemonade. I cannot find the lemonade. There it is. Yay! And did we do ginger? Hi! Chat! Caruso has been a great help for my family. Without him, my dad probably wouldn't have time to be the mayor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have some roses. Six! Nice! Alright, I know. You don't need gifts. Blah, blah, blah. I guess everyone's just going back to their regular places. And you get this. Yeah, everything is double today. I have to get everybody today. Problem is I don't know who I already got. <laughs> did you go back into the hair salon? Yes? Maybe? You did. And you are yellow. Oh, I got you already because you are the veggie salad. You know who I haven't been doing very often? I have not been doing... I've been doing purple, getting him done. I haven't been doing orange or red. So... And how come she comes out on the day of the bright sun? I would think she wouldn't come out on this day. But she has. He gets these tables. He's a good friend now. Yay. That's good. And thank you for the bits. Okay. Um, yes, I had to get rid of my corporate job. It was not going to happen. Um, it just was making me lose my mind. And my parents were awesome. They've let me come back here. And do this. Essentially. And that has made a world of difference. Oh, that's Sophie. Red. I haven't seen you in a while. Who is Red? Red is the crystal necklace. <gasps> but you also take a yellow sapphire one. How much do you like that? Wow! Alright! We're going to have to go visit him more often with those. And where is Sonia? Sonia, are you in here? Sonia, there you are. You also like these. So today is a good day for that. 61 and it didn't get her the BFF. It seems like people like to throw lithium at everything. And lithium destroys your kidneys. So, I am very anti-lithium. And, thank you. That took a long time to absorb into me. Wow. Okay, this one, we put our fur and fur. And feathers, and I just had a thought. We can actually check. Uh, oh, I do have a mission. Um, okay, hang on, let me go make a steel beam. That's this way, isn't it? Whoops, was that it? Steel beam, build. One. All right, you get building that. And I am gonna go do a quick check in the social map. They're all BFFs. So there is a thing on here that shows you if you've gifted them or not. So I can see who I've missed. I need to get Petra, Isaac, Gust, Nora. Oh my gosh, I have so many people to do. So what was that? Patrick, Isaac, Nora, Gust. 
Uh, gonna need horse. If I'm gonna get them all, I've gotta get them all today because it's worth double. No, we are totally not riding you. Uh, hunger, you are hungry. Maybe I should feed you. My bad. No, it's okay. Back up. Back up. Oh my gosh, he's not going to let me out. <sighs> Come on, that usually makes you freak out. There. Now I can go. Start with Petra. She should be... Not you. Out here somewhere. Um, I'm pretty sure I missed one of the sisters, too. I can do this. No, I'm a little distracted because it is Day of the Bright Sun. Who did I miss? Did I miss Molly? I missed Molly. Alright. Molly! Molly is the fruit tart. I always miss Marley. I don't know why. And there's Petra. Petra's lemonade. Okay. Oh, sorry, I was going to warn you I had to sneeze, but that didn't work. <laughs> Merlin likes the silicon chip set. Is that what this is? That one. All right, she's my buddy now. Okay. Yeah, I get a little like that also when it comes to medical stuff. Um... Isaac. Oh, no, you. Gift and umbrella. We got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isaac. You get the table. There. And now... Who are we missing? I wish I'd remembered about this when we did the hot pot one. Did we just change? Oh no, these are all BFFs, so I don't have to worry about them. So there's Petra. She's almost done. Dun, 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 dun. Nora. Dun, dun, dun. Papa Bear can wait. I thought it was done, Wuwa. Guess not. Tootie Mint I don't care about. Okay, so I have the two out in the desert. Oh, I haven't given the pig anything. All right. So I have Wu Wa, who is at the port. I have the brother out in the desert. I have Papa Bear. I don't think I can do all of these. Thank you, by the way. Um, I don't know if I can do all of them. Oh, well, this is handy. One pig needed and apple done. 31. Nice. All right. Um, Papa Bear. I'm going to give him first dibs. There's purple. I already did him. Come on. Keep going. There's Papa Bear. Being CM, he's moving so slowly. Move, 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 move. All right, Papa Bear. I don't know if he cares that it's Day of the Bright Sun. Like, at all. Okay, so we have all of those. They are done. Then lots of people like to come hang out in here. But I had all these people. 
They're easy to find, so that's why I have them all. Ooh, I never checked what the prices were. Lag spike? Oh, you're closed. Never mind. I do need to find Nora. I got Anton. Right? BFF, BFF. Yeah, I am just about done Petra, so I'm gonna have to pay attention to her. And Sonia. And Antoine. And Jack. Wow. I'm really close to a lot of these people. So I have to find Nora. He's at the tree farm. And Yellow? Yellow is in the salon. Hmm. He's at the tree farm. How did I get him before he got back to the tree farm? I'm going to pass on him. Because the tree farm's kind of far to be doing. I know all the brothers are going to come back into town. So that's going to be easier. And these guys are in the desert. Um, I don't know if it's worth attempting it. Let's go up and see if there's Nora. Perfect. Let's see if we could find Nora really quick. And Nora wants the lemonade. Alright, so that finishes Nora. There's one brother. There should be another one headed out from the port, but I don't see him. I don't want to go out to the desert. I know Yi Yi, that for Yi Yi, you can't see her. Um, she's in the hotel at a certain time, and that's it. So, and I don't know when the other brother, like, he lives out there. So I don't know if he's not available either. Is the other guy here? Or has he already run back? Hard to find him anymore. Hmm. Alright, um, Snowball, let's go. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. I don't know where he is. Um... Did I get Dawa before the festival? What? Because he's the red one from the tree farm, so... Okay, that would make sense. Actually, while I'm in this area, maybe I can get Ada instead. He might be available. Hop over. Can I just walk in? Nope. Alright. Good to know. And I'm going to assume that he lives here too, so I'm not going to... Can I get out? I know there's a way out over here. There it is. So I'm going to be a stalker out over here. So Phyllis has gone home. Social. Let's see. I think I pretty much got everybody. Anybody who matters, at least. This whole page is done. He is locked up. I can't get to him. I don't know where he is. He comes by pretty late. Um, he's over by the port. I'm not even dealing with him. Mint, I think, already came in. And he's in the desert, and she's in the desert. So yeah, 